are going to look at how you can use the frame and marquee tools in InDesign. Your rectangle frame tool right here is used for photos and the rectangle tool is used for shapes. Notice that the white arrow means that there are additional tools embedded and if you just hold down you can access those tools. The first way to create a shape is simply to click and drag. Once you've created a shape, you can use your selection tool to resize that shape. You can also click down and enter a specific size. And we don't have to convert to picas. If we want something that's 3 inches by 3 inches, we can type 3in and 3in. If we wanted pixels, we would type PX. With the rectangle tool, we can use this yellow square to round our corners. So if I click that and then I pull these, I get a rounded rectangle. If I only wanted to round one corner, I could hold the shift key and just round that one corner. So you can start to create some interesting shapes just by starting with the rectangle tool. You can also use some keyboard shortcuts to help you draw. So for example, if I wanted my ellipse to be centered right here, I hold the Alt and it draws from that center. If I wanted a perfect ellipse, so the width and height are the same, I can use the shift key and that draws a perfect circle. I can combine those tools holding the alt and the shift key to draw a perfect circle from the center out. When you do this you want to make sure that you release your mouse or your trackpad and then your key modifiers. With the polygon tool you can alter the sides of the polygon when you click down, entering the number of sides you want. So if I entered 3, I would get a triangle. If I entered 8, I would get an octagon. Notice we have a stroke applied. That's the only way we can see this. So you either need to have a fill or a stroke in order to see these because by default, none of these guides actually print. Once I have my objects created, I can quickly copy them using Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste, or I can select the object, hold down my Alt key, notice I get a white-black arrow, and drag to copy. There are several ways that I can align and position content. One is to use my smart guides and you can see those coming up in green. So right now both the centers and bottoms of these objects are aligned. I can also use my align panel to begin to align things. So if I wanted the tops of each of these objects to be aligned, I could click that. There's additional options for alignment and even distribution of the objects in the Properties panel. Finally, when I just have a stroke on an object and no fill, in order to move things, I need to select that stroke. If I have a fill, I can select the fill to move an object. And that is some basic shapes in InDesign.